Oh, Pippi. The boys are liar. Who let the dogs? Hey, hey, hey. Everybody poops. Hi, I'm Katy Perry, and I'm here with BuzzFeed to play with puppies. I'm so excited. Bring the puppies in. <sighs> I've got tears. <gasps> Smell my puppy? I didn't even bring my puppy, because I knew that I needed to give you all of my love. Hi. Hi, how old are you? Why do we all talk in little voices? Oh, they smell so good. They're small little animals full of love. Listen, I was not a dog person until I got a dog. Oh, Pippi. Oh, you're gonna step in it, and then you're gonna go on me. Are you licking your brother's Pee, -pee? Oh. That's weird. Oh, I have a child, I do this all day. <laughs> Especially since we're potty training. <laughs> There's one, yes. There's two, yes, there's three. <laughs> Who let the dog? <laughs> I would not sing that song, but that's a great, why are you humping your sister? I would sing What If God Was One of Us by Joan Osborne, because I love the lyrics and I think it has a lot of ability to showcase vocals and play with dynamics. And it shows off who a person is, I think, as an artist when they pick kind of specific songs. I probably play my guitar. Oh, you wanna stay here? You love me. This is the one that's chosen me. Probably being a woman and having a strong opinion. I also think that what's really challenging is that only one person wins this contest and I would say that like the top 20 are all superstars and I would never wanna sing after them because they can all sing better than, than all of us. So it's, it's challenging that people, really great people have to leave the competition. It's just not fair. Being able to help people find their spark inside of them, their purpose, to be able to help nurture and mentor that spark into something, because I think a lot of people come on on the show at an audition and it's a little bit like, either their mom signed them up or it's on a whim or they just wanna like be brave, but they don't really know if like they're chosen for this profession. And then sometimes we get to see and confirm and tell them, oh, hey, 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 hey. Calm down. That's me and Luke on the show. We just basically get to mentor and nurture them and it's amazing to be able to give them kind of a lottery ticket to their life and their life's purpose and set them on their way and you get to put people on their path and it's so beautiful. And all of the puppies have left. Oh, they're all behind me. Luke and I loved pranking Lionel a lot in the beginning seasons. I mean, he sat literally on an old school whoopee cushion. It's amazing for all of us to watch someone grow, like a contestant grow in such a short amount of time and for them to really like get what they came for, which sometimes they don't even know what they came for. They think they wanna win, but maybe winning isn't what they're supposed to get from this contest. Maybe they're supposed to understand their self-worth. Maybe they're supposed to just feel unconditionally loved for the very first time. <laughs> one song, just one song out of the old Kit Caboodle. I mean, I wouldn't wanna steal it from any other artists, cause that wouldn't be kind, because you know, once an artist sings on something, they kind of make it their own. But I would say there's been, I've had, a, I've written a lot of songs that haven't made records and some of them have been recorded by other artists like Kelly Clarkson and Selena Gomez and Britney Spears. Like I wrote them for an album that, that you can only put so many songs on and then you have all these songs left over and then they find homes. Like these puppies will find homes. Are these puppies gonna be finding homes? Okay, great. Yes, uh, I am um, very organized, thankfully, because of my team. So, yeah, fight, let's go. Oh, uh, 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 All that to say, I'm very excited for the next thing, and I'm still doing my residency for the rest of this year, and it will end November 4th, so there's only a few shows, actually. Every ending has a new beginning. My favorite moment uh, from my residency is seeing it all to come together in the most chaotic of times. Every night is so fun because I get to bring two people on the stage. It's like a sweepstakes and you donate to my Firework Foundation and 
you can get randomly picked to be on stage that night. And then I just randomly pick someone in the audience. It's hilarious, we've had the craziest people on stage. A lot, a lot of people that are getting married, some, you know, drag queens, Northwest, you know, lots of variety. Yes, she does. Also, sometimes she comes to work with me and she says, Mommy singing? Mommy, I want to see mommy singing. Mommy, mommy, I come. I come see mommy singing. I sing a few songs to her every night, but I sing You Are My Sunshine and I change the lyrics. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy every day. I know you know, dear, how much I love you and it'll never go away. See? There's no great days and you're not never gonna know and it's never gonna go away. I like to go out to eat because some of the best restaurants in the world, actually a lot of the best restaurants in the world in Las Vegas have residencies in Vegas. So there's always pop-ups, there's always chefs. I love to eat. I love Carbone. <laughs> there's actually a great place called Carver Steak. Jose Andreas has a really cool kind of theatrical restaurant we went to the other day, so we do that. And then also, I go and see shows as well. I really wanna see Adele show, but we actually play on, the, play on the same nights typically. So I asked her if she wanted to like swap like Parent Trap and she said, yeah, maybe. So if you come to see me, maybe one Friday or Saturday, may not be me. I, oh yes, I love them all. I love the first act a lot. There's a huge rocking chair that I sing Dark Horse on. Are you chewing on my cargo pant? Oh, it's a fun game now. Your brothers and sisters love it. I don't know, it's not that I don't love singing Roar because Roar and Firework are at the end and they're everybody's favorite and they're the best and stuff. It's just, it's hard to reinterpret songs sometimes every time you do a tour to keep them feeling fresh. Some songs are harder to remix than others. Oh, poopies, don't touch it. Don't eat it, don't step on it. Everybody poops. Sometimes. Honestly, there's like glam, like looking beautiful and looking glam, but having the most fun and getting the most attention was when I was a cheeseburger. My only regret is that that costume was so like padded and like secure, I could have rolled myself down the mat stairs and been okay. But I don't know if I'd ever get invited back. Ice Spice. <laughs> that girl's a liar. That boy's a liar. <laughs> Probably Roulette or Legendary Lovers. Yeah, they should have done more for those songs. <laughs> I probably work in fashion of some sort or be a costume designer. I love clothes, I love presentation, I love design, but I also love politics too. I like politics when they're like purposeful and making and creating real change and helping people. If politics were more pure, maybe I would be a politician. It's just the best. It doesn't matter how bad of a day you have, you just like see your child and they love you for who you are and not what you do or what you give them unless it's like a mango fruit leather. She does love those and she loves me for giving them to her. One of my favorite things to do though is sometimes I'll be able to come home after like a Wednesday show. I will come home with like full play makeup and hair and I'll just pop my robe on and I'll make her school lunch in the kitchen at like 11.30 after doing a show. And that's what makes me feel really complete is I'm making these school lunches because I didn't have great lunches and I had nothing to trade. And not that I'm gonna give her, you know, stuff that's not great for her, but I'm gonna give her some good alternative trading stuff. Oh my God, on a good day, I got Tree Valley granola bars. Like there were two of them. I'm sorry, I'm yelling. The honey oat things, you know, the things in the green. I got those, that's what I got. And they were so dry. They were so dry and broken in the package. Just like the Ritz cheese crackers. Why can't you put your cheese and your crackers together anymore? Adding you. Okay, next. <laughs> when you meet someone, remember they may not know exactly what you said to them or whatever, or they may not remember specifically that, but people will always remember how you made them feel. Keep that in mind when you're meeting people, and I try and keep that in mind when meeting everyone, because I've met a couple of my heroes and they weren't, back in the day, and they weren't exactly like all that I had dreamt them up to be. 
Um, and I would never want that to be the case for anyone that got to meet me because I may only meet them once and nobody knows what anyone's going through and everybody's a story and everybody's having a tough day sometimes and so, confession. Lizzo. I'd like Lizzo to come and join American Idol. This is Luke, Lionel, calm down. This is an invitation from me, Katy Perry. Lizzo, I'm asking you to join the panel. I'm feeling a little outnumbered on the testosterone. I could really use some bold, honest hot takes. Goodness gracious. I don't know, there's so many. I think that one of the songs that I wrote for a couple albums back called, called By the Grace of God was really important for some of the fans because it was about some of my hardest times and getting through it. And so I think some people listen to that and use it as inspiration to get through their tough times. This one is really taking a liking. Not moves a lot of the time. Maybe going home with me. When Nugget was a puppy, she was smaller than this. She was probably half the size of these puppies. And I got her and I put her in my hand. I literally held her and she looked like a long chicken tender. And if you squinted your eyes or had two beers, she would look like a chicken tender. And also, to be honest, like I would say that my taste buds have evolved a little bit more, but in the past, I mostly ordered off of the child menu. Ooh, that's cool, a cool question. Guys, chill out back there. You're not going anywhere. It's not the Truman Show. Maybe Carrie Underwood, just because I haven't done a collab with any female country stars yet. I did a song with Thomas Rhett, which was really fun, but um, she's like queen of country, so that's cool. And she's glam. Guys. Hi. This one loves me. It's been on me the whole time. Thank you, BuzzFeed, for this Awesome interview, you wanna, oh. Thank you BuzzFeed for letting me answer questions with puppies in hand. I'd like to do that every single day and I'd probably say a lot more things that you guys wanna hear. Cause I had no idea what I just said. <laughs> Cause I was just focused on the puppies. You can adopt these puppies actually. Just go to the Hit Living Foundation. Watch Idol. The puppies are not gonna be on American Idol but the contestants are kinda like our little baby puppies too.